that smoothie, um, although a little more appley, and the ginger kind of peeks through too, but it was really good. I was surprised, I'm kind of surprised with the kale and stuff. I thought I wasn't going to like it, but it's so good. back into there because it wasn't quite thin enough to mix it through and then after it mixed through I added a little more leaves um, if you do do that don't do too much because I had to like shake the machine to get it to start and then it went through really good all right now this is like really thick so I'm gonna end up running all of it through the cheesecloth and then for the next one, I'll just add a little bit of juice from the jar back in. Aiden, pay attention to school. Alright, so when you get down to the last little bit, make sure you squeeze it, because there's actually, like, oh, I squeezed a lot out, but even though it looks like it's done, there's actually quite a bit left. I don't see nothing yet. Not yet, not yet, it's still loading. So, I went through all of it, I didn't learn too much about the pulpies. We'll throw the rest of the remain in. Now don't shove it too tight. And then I just wash up the spinach. So we'll do some of that. Now it's about it's about full. Yeah, so have a lemon. Which I'm gonna slice up again relatively small.
Are you sitting in the chair right? Or no, that's why it's set. Right, so. It was so Small glitchy, places. I got 14. Uh -oh. I haven't done any. Are you, I, so, had, I heard your teacher, are you still, had, still supposed to be doing Lexia, or did she say come back to class? Well, now it's in a pinch. You know, if, or if you can't afford to buy a juice or whatever. She's cloth cost me like three dollars for like so much probably like a queen size sheets worth and you know blender a little bullet whatever as long as they're you know you do gotta use a little starting liquid and a little bit of the juice to help it blend but it does work Why don't you listen, boy? Purple and orange and green, and then cross it off. Give it a little, a little stir up. Oh man, I got plans for those roses. Ooh, a little piece of beet hip one. I better get that out. Um, I need a cherry rose wine before it was so good. Um, or no, it was a it was a mead, um, a honey wine. So, what oh, smells pleasant? A little earthy. Pretty good. Not quite as sweet as yesterday, but. The beets did add some sweetness to it. Not bad. It is earthy, but I actually think it's good. Yesterday was like fruity and greeny, and I think the earthy might help. Well, we'll see how, how hungry or full my belly feels, but I'll be drinking this and teas and waters for the rest of the day. I have a um, I have a daily detox that, that tastes really good. On day three of the 72 hour juice cleanse, I did look it up. So, number one is green juice. I really think that just helps like prep your body up and flush you out. And then, in day two, colon cleanse. Let's do all kinds of bathroom talk. But day one, I emptied out. Day two, I didn't. Although this morning, I I did a little bit, so I guess it worked. And we're now on day three, which is liver and kidney flush. Um, um, and then we got over here all the fruits and veg or yeah, fruits and veggies today. And then a little bit different method today than yesterday since I decided to make some fermented cabbage. There's so many health benefits. The one cabbage head made one gallon and that was a gallon container and it looks maybe a quarter full so I guess I'll have to buy three more today. It takes a few weeks. I did do a little bit of research. Um, I have an herbal remedy book uh, and unfortunately it doesn't cover the garden. I do have another book but uh, forgive me for not looking it up. I'm getting hungry. Uh, my kids definitely. Uh, I have my morning occupied, and then so one is dandelion. It's really great for your liver, and again, that's what we're doing today. Um, so I'm gonna take the petals. Uh, the green part's super bitter. Another thing is nettle. This thing has so many benefits. Um, Allie's knew it was good for like allergies and itching. Like if you ever walk into Poison Ivy or Sumac, it really helps take the itch and the redness out so quickly just to tea. Um, if you get fresh nettle, you definitely want to pick it before it flowers. After it flowers, it causes internal irritations and even like a UTI. But the 
dried leaves or even the fresh leaves before flowering made into a tea. Help allergies, arthritis, gout, inflammation, eczema. Actually, I think I'm gonna have my son drink some because he had. You can actually like make a tea and wash like burns, bites, and wounds. Um, drinking the tea again is good for heavy menstruation. You could use. Uh, compress for strains, cramps, tendonitis, and sciatica. Basically, you make a tea, dip some cotton in it, and then apply it to the to the place that's bothering you. Uh, I think I'm gonna try this again because I had done something with my sciatic and it made my hamstring really tight. So better if you can actually like wrap something around it so it's on there tighter. So the tea, it's also good for stimulating blood flow and improving circulation which is another benefit that would be great for while we're doing this well. The fresh leaves made into a tea are good for anemia, cardiac insufficiency, enlarged spleen, um, and as a whole body tonic. Um, basically, you pick the whole plant, soak it. Um, you kind of want to break the leaves a little bit to get you know as much of the essential oils out of it. And then make a tea. Uh, Teas are done by not boiling, just there, um, remove all the leaves, and then, like, you'd heat the water to just under a boil, sorry, um, strain it out for a tea. The uh, whole thing, when I was looking up about the remedies, herbology book, I found something for thorn apple, I don't know if anyone else likes Outlander like me, but, um, Claire had actually given it to the lawyer for, um, his asthma, um, but you can also, like, make a tincture, um, with the seeds, it's good for whooping cough, um, tremors, like, for Parkinson's or any other, um, muscle spasms, you do have to be really careful if you do make a tincture with it. Um, you only want to, like, too much is poisonous, so start with, like, a drop or so, and, you know, up it from there and make sure that there's no, like, adverse reactions, but definitely don't overdo it because it, too much is definitely a poison with that plant. Actually, like, more different from yesterday than I expected. It's way sweeter. a hint of earthiness but this one's like as good as the first days um just obviously a little different with the beets but it's like so sweet and I'm like starving um since I waited so late in the day to make this <laughs> 